on this week's news update. Keeping the ISS infection free. Testing butterfly strength. And attending graduation with the help of a robot. First up, U.S. astronaut Chris Cassidy has blasted off and boarded the International Space Station. Before traveling into space, Chris spent four weeks in quarantine with two Russian colleagues. During quarantine, they were separated from most other people to make sure they didn't pick up any infections. All astronauts go through quarantine before boarding the ISS. After all, getting sick in space can be risky. There are limited medical supplies, and it's difficult to return to Earth in an emergency. This time, due to the coronavirus pandemic, the quarantine was longer than normal. Thankfully, Chris and his colleagues remained healthy. They'll now spend six months on the ISS doing scientific research. Next up, every year, millions of monarch butterflies leave the northeastern US and Canada and migrate thousands of miles to spend the winter in California and Mexico. However, these incredible insects are threatened by habitat loss pesticides, and climate change. Some people are trying to help by breeding monarchs in captivity, then releasing them into the wild. But a study has found this might not be helping after all. Scientists compared captive and wild butterflies using a force gauge, a device which measures how strong their grip is they found that monarchs bred in captivity are much weaker than wild ones. And that means they're less likely to survive migration because they can't hold on to trees in strong winds. So rather than breeding monarchs in captivity, scientists say it would be better to protect wild ones by preserving their habitats and preventing climate change. And finally, it's Tech Beat. For many students, graduation is an important moment. So what happens if you're staying home to stop the spread of COVID-19? Well, one university in Tokyo, Japan, made sure students could still attend graduation with the help of remote-controlled robots. From the safety of their homes, students steered the robots to collect their diplomas and pose for photos. Tablets mounted on the robots meant students could see what was going on. And professors could see their students. It might not have been the graduation they were expecting, but it's bound to be pretty memorable. That's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for the latest science news every Thursday.